Hello everyone, my name is Yi Ting Xiu from Taiwan. Today my subject is a metadata base approach for using CCTV to facilitate emergency response. My professor is Hong Rong Hong, and we are come from the National Chenggong University, Taiwan. The first is that what is the disaster and CCTV the relation? As we know, the disaster could happen anywhere and any time. The emergency response commanders need all available information for making decisions. The advantage of the CCTV system is direct visual inspection, continuous monitoring, verify the real world situation. The challenges is the lack of understanding about the CCTV, heterogeneous systems, and management mechanism. And our strategy is the standardized metadata that provide essential information about the available CCTV. The all decision metadata based on the perspective of the 5W1H, where, when, what, who, why, and how. And we provide a 3D FOV analysis for this presentation. First of all, what is the metadata? Metadata is a data about data in descriptive, structural, administrative, reference and stat stat statistical forms. By following the fundamental standards of ISO 19115 from ISO TC211, a framework to describe geography and associated service. It promotes the purpose used the effective re retrieval of geography data and information. Why we need the 5W1H? Because from the who we can know who is the authority and when to happen, and what type of CCTV, and where is the accident or disaster happen. And from the beginning, why we to setting this CCTV, we know the purpose. And how can we to access the image? The perspective of the WHO, CCTV are deployed and operated by government agencies and private sector. EOC commander may need permission to access the CCTV. And what? The, we need to collect varied data due to the different CCTV spec section, like the fixed coverage, night vision, resolution, type, manufacturer, identifier, and, magnif and magnification, maxima operation temperature, minima operation temperature, maxima operation humidity, and minima operation humidity. And we, to, we can know the why the purpose from the beginning, the CCTV the developed. And we can to know the strat address, landmark, location, orientation, FOV, and visible object from the way. And from the uh, orientation, we need to know the omega, kappa, or phi, and like the your pitch, and row. And from the developing time, daily beginning shooting time, daily ending shooting time, and historical data timeline, we can to connect uh, when to happen. And available service, access, instruction, and online access, we can to available and connection the CCTVs. The next is comparison of 2D FOV and 3D FOV. We can look the 2D FOV is just a service. But, three, but from the 3D FOV, we can look the visible is green, with um, invisible is red. From the scenario one is who to what, is that every CCTV has its 3D FOV and information of visible objects. The area and object for the CCTV system can be determined by standardized metadata. And scenario two, we searching of the available CCTV from the perspective of objects in real 
reality. By spec 5 feature ID, the building 1, we get recording data in the environment of the visible object. A compare and two CCTVs belong to two different CCTV systems are founded. From the scenario 3, what to who, the function by CCTV either 9 function. By function, it can be work and 9. The last is our conclusion. The sharing of standardized FOV message provided by different organizations or group will further contribution to the development of the CCTV monitoring system. The, this metadata based mechanism of the free 5W1H in GIS3D map allow the decision makings makers to find and use any available CCTV during emergency response. The standardized metadata of CCTV applied in current GIS3D map effectively improve the accuracy of current searching practical and decision making and is more closely to meet the demand of EOC. Thank you for your watching and listening. Have a nice day.